Hello, hello, family. This is Angela behind the camera. Here we are on the third day of our prayer session, a devotion that had the Holy Spirit has led me to bring about of a broken heart. You may be going through a broken heart and God has called you to help someone else out. And so God is using I this morning to pull you out of that place and to help you to be on your way to go for it and stand in purpose and accomplish what God has called you on this earth to accomplish. You may have given your life to the Lord. You may not have given your life to the Lord Jesus Christ as yet, but let us believe that in this time where so many things are happening to cause a broken heart upon us that all of us can get over what we're going through and continue to press on for each other because you lift up i lift you up this morning you lift me up tomorrow and you we continue to lift up others as we go along our journey we may travel on a taxi we may travel on a bus some people in countries where they travel on a train you may never know your purpose may be on that train helping someone that is in a broken heart you may go to a doctor's office you may never know your purpose in your hurt god is preparing you that you can be a blessing, that you can be a shifting for someone else. And so whatever you're going through, don't think that it's coincident that you're going through it. Don't think that it's just one of those things why you have to be so bad lucky to go to be to be hurting like this there was a season where every turn i turn something bad happens everywhere i go something has to go wrong and now even though it still happens i just don't allow it to be such a big issue because now i realize that the Bible said the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold. And the Bible also said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places and rulers of darkness. We learn if you are willing, we can learn from every situation that comes our way. The situation that comes, whether it happened in our home, whether it happened on the road, whether it happened in the church. These are all situations to help to groom us, to help to mold us. It's like the bean that has been pressed, shaken, and for the oil to come out, it goes through that process. The oil of the anointing, the anointing that will break the yoke, the anointing for us to be one with the Holy Spirit, though that the Holy Spirit can come in and create a change, not only in our life, but in the life of those we come in contact with. We need the anointing. We need the fire. We need oh, to have that which can create a change in the life of those we come in contact with. So whatever you're going through, I want you to say purpose, purpose, say purpose this morning. And as you go through the day, continue to say purpose. We give God glory this morning. He is the one to get the praise. He's the one to get the honor. Psalms 51 and verse 7, 17 says, The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. O oh God, though will not despise. We see the purpose of Jesus Christ as in Isaiah 53, Isaiah 53 and verse 5. He said, I mean, when you read all of that, through the whole Isaiah 53, you're, it's like goosebumps start to come on you because of what Jesus would be going through for you and I. He's, he has been broken for salvation to come into perspective. His heart was broken. And this morning, just count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptation, 
because God said he will give you a way to escape some things we cannot understand and some things we may never understand. The pain that we go through, we may never understand. But let us work on not being angry about that, those things that come in to push us away from the persons that God has placed in our lives. Eternal and gracious Father, we come before you this morning as we all have seen and come short of your glory as we all have walked in that path where God Almighty it is not to be. But God, we know a God that never changed, a God that is sitting high and looking low. Lord, you know the hearts and minds of those that will come in contact with this video this morning. May you lead those that you see fit to come to this video. May you lead them and guide them this morning. May you take off the shackles of their feet this morning. May the flesh of hurt be chopped off this morning. May it fell off, Almighty God. Fell off them in the name of Jesus. May it fall to the ground. And Lord Almighty, may it melt away through the power and your glory this morning. The hurt. Mighty God, may the shackles be removed. May the shackles of hurt be removed from the heart and the mind that of those that come in contact with this video this morning. We praise you, mighty God. We exhort you, oh God, for the change and for the transformation in the name of Jesus. God, we lift up that marriage this morning that the enemy has come in like a flood to break into pieces in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will enter this household, Oh God Almighty, this morning, and God Almighty, you will move through that household this morning. And God, the wind of division, the wind of strife that come to break the hearts, oh God, of that family that is in that home this morning. We pray that, Father God, you will lift up them in the name of Jesus. We pray that self will be slain, oh God, that flesh of self will be slain. And that God, your spirit, oh God, of humility will rise in the heart of your son and your daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, take full control, Lord. Break the shackles and the chain. May the peace that surpasses all understanding rest upon your daughter, rest upon your son. May the change come like never before. And God, may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As this morning I cry out for the for the for the for the marriages that are in trouble this morning i cry out have mercy mighty god because god is only to your mercy god you owe us nothing you owe us nothing god almighty we owe you and god only you god Oh, Jesus can interfere because you said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and spiritual wickedness in high places and rulers of darkness. Take, oh God Almighty, move in that home this morning. Move in the strife. Move in the division. Son against father. Father against son. Mother against daughter. Daughter against mother mighty god husband against wife and wife again husband oh god almighty the house has turned upside down but this morning god we believe you for a healing we believe you god for a transformation like never before take full control and make a difference in the life and, and heart of your sons and your daughters 
In the mighty name of Jesus, may your peace rest upon this family, God, as they receive your word. Father God, for those that have received the word this morning through this prayer, immediate change, immediate change, immediate change, immediate change, immediately, Lord. Let the change begin in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. If you have tuned in to thus far to the end of the video, just say a amen. Just say a amen. And thank you. Thank you. And like the video that we can continue to go on and to create that which God has to has been doing. To continue to do what God has been doing. See, feel, and seal the vision that God has given out to you. Don't give up. Don't give in. Think about your purpose and that whatever you're going through, that God has allowed it so that your oil can run. God bless you. Peace and love.